Hello everybody, in this video we will be taking a look at pancreatic cancer in the African American community. So, what is pancreatic cancer? Pancreatic cancer, like most cancers, are malignant cancer cells that form or grow in the tissue of the pancreas. Pancreatic cancer is the third leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States and the fifth worldwide, while being higher in African Americans more than any other racial group. In the state of Georgia, studies showed that African Americans are more likely to develop pancreatic cancer and have a higher mortality rate than Caucasians. Out of 100,000 African Americans, 15,900 are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer compared to 13,400 out of 100,000 Caucasians who are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. This is a picture of a healthy pancreas at the bottom portion is called the head. Cancers are most commonly located in the head of the pancreas. The pancreas lies in the upper abdomen behind the stomach and is part of the gastrointestinal system. The pancreas makes and secretes digestive enzymes into the intestine and secretes hormones into the blood to control a person's energy, metabolism, and storage throughout the body. Although symptoms vary in different people, one of the symptoms that pancreatic cancer causes is jaundice. Jaundice is discoloration of a person's skin and eyes. The pupils go from white to yellow. Pancreatic cancer can block the liver's bile duct and cause jaundice. Jaundice usually occurs without abdominal pain. Weight loss is the most common symptom to experience but does not normally occur until the late stages of the disease. Famous father Joseph Jackson, father of the late Michael Jackson, died from pancreatic cancer in 2018. The picture to the left is from 2007, and the picture to the right is from 2018. You can see the difference in his facial features. That is because the body may have difficulty processing the nutrients from food. The pancreas is not making enough digestive juices. Please consult with your physician if you are experiencing any abnormalities in your body. Stages for pancreatic cancer goes from 1 to 5. The earlier the cancer is caught, the better the treatment options are. Stage 1 cancer is contained in the pancreas. If the tumor is measured as 2 centimeters or smaller, it is identified as stage 1A. If the tumor is larger than 2 centimeters but smaller than 4 centimeters, then it is considered 1B. There is a significance in the letters A and B is the size of the tumor. These are the treatment options with stage 1, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or clinical trials. With surgery and being in stage 1 gives the patient a chance where the tumor can be resectable which means the entire pancreas can be removed. Although 20% of patients may be eligible for surgery, up to half are told that they are ineligible. The most common surgery is called a Whipple procedure. The procedure is used when the cancer is in the head of the pancreas. The Whipple procedure removes the head of the pancreas as well as the gallbladder, the duodenum, and a small portion of the stomach. Surgery is the best option for long-term survival, although only approximately 9% of African Americans make it to a five-year survival rate. After surgery, additional treatments such as chemotherapy, radiation therapy, Clinical trials may be given to prevent cancer from returning in the event small cancer cells were left in the body. Stage 2 is locally advanced. Locally advanced means that the tumor may have spread to blood vessels, lymph nodes, or even both, but has not spread to any other organ. The lymph nodes are small bean-shaped organs that help fight infections and diseases as part of the body's immune symptoms. The treatment options are somewhat similar to stage 1. Although surgery is an option, it differs from person to person and on the cancer's exact location. Resectable surgery, the removal of the whole pancreas, or a borderline resectable, which means the cancer just reached a nearby blood vessel, may be an option. For borderline resectable, patients may need treatment such as, but not limited to, chemotherapy, radiation before the surgery to shrink the cancer or move it away from the blood vessels so that the pancreas can be removed through surgery. Stage 3 means that the tumor has spread to a major nearby arteries 
and may also have spread to a nearby lymph node. The tumor has spread outside of the pancreas, but not onto another organ. Sadly, for a treatment option, surgery is not an option for stage 3. Patients need treatment that will travel through the bloodstream. Chemotherapy and radiation would be ideal treatments. More choices may be available if you are a participant in clinical trials. African Americans only make up 3% of clinical trials participants. Stage 4 means that the cancer has metastasized or spread to another part of the body. The tumor often spreads to the liver, the abdominal wall, lungs, distant lymph nodes, or a combination of all these. Surgery is not an option for stage 4 cancer because the cancer is too advanced in the body, so typically chemotherapy is the only route to go. African Americans have the poorest prognosis and outcome of any racial group in pancreatic cancer because they are often diagnosed with advanced cancer which is inoperable. Palliative care gives the patients a chance to live more comfortably by addressing the symptoms and provide relief for the pain. Palliative care may also be available in the early stage of cancer. You should speak with a healthcare provider if interested in this service. Smoking is one of the major risk factors and also the most preventable cause of pancreatic cancer. Cigarette smoking causes 25% of cases among African Americans and is more common among African Americans. African Americans that have low income tend to smoke more which doubles the risk among them for pancreatic cancer. Cigar smoking and the use of smokeless tobacco products also increase the risk. Another risk factor is obesity. Your body mass can increase the risk of pancreatic cancer no matter a person's ethnic group. However, being overweight is more common in African Americans, which studies determine why there is an increased risk of pancreatic cancer in this ethnic group more so than others. 31% of African American men, 39% of African American women over the age of 18 are significantly overweight compared to 26% of Caucasian men and 23% of Caucasian women. Pancreatitis is an inflammatory disease of the pancreas. The risk of pancreatic cancer is elevated in all patients with pancreatitis and African Americans are at the highest risk level for developing pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is often caused by sustained heavy alcohol abuse. Moderate consumption is one drink a day for women and up to two drinks per day for men. Heavy drinking is defined as drinking 15 drinks or more per week are consumed by men and eight or more a week for women. The biggest thing you can control when it comes to prevention is your diet. Eat a diet in high fruits and vegetables and low in processed meats. The risk of pancreatic cancer is elevated when diets are in high in fats and calories. Processed meats high in nitrates such as bacon and bologna also increase the risk. The human body may process nitrates into cancer-causing chemicals called carcinogens. Other prevention measures that can be taken is to quit smoking, lose weight, and exercise. Quitting smoking helps lower the risk for pancreatic cancer. Studies show that 20 minutes after quitting can drop your heart rate and blood pressure. Between two weeks and three months, the function of your lungs will increase and your circulation will improve. Your body begins to heal itself after the last smoke. If you want to quit smoking and need help, speak with a healthcare provider. Another prevention is being active. You should consult with a healthcare provider before starting any exercise regimens. Daily exercise can reduce the risk of cancer and other diseases regardless of your age. Exercise can include walking, dancing, gardening, and even swimming. Adults should get at least 150 to 300 minutes of moderate or vigorous activity a week.